This weekend, we'll see the return of the Greater Youngstown Italian Fest. It's all three days of the weekend in downtown Youngstown. We'll give you the details on that and more in our After Hours Report. The After Hours Report is brought to you by Live Nation. Celebrating Italian American heritage, the Greater Youngstown Italian Fest returns for its 34th year. 1986 era, there were a bunch of teachers and business persons that uh, wanted to get together and make sure that we kept our Italian heritage alive. And it, it started from that, and we've, we've been out and about ever since. This year's fest will have two entertainment stages at either end of Federal Street, full of live music and more. We have one at Phelps and Federal, the Roma stage, which handles all of our ceremonies and um, pageants and uh, Italian bands and such, which we try to play all three days. And then we have our wine and beer tent at uh, Champion and to Walnut on Federal. And that plays a lot of uh, polka, a little bit of Italian, and a lot of rock and roll at night. John Rossetti is festival chairman. He says in addition to that live entertainment, there will also be over 60 vendors, and over half of them are food vendors. You can get anything you want from sausage, peppers, and onions, to brujol sandwiches, to chicken parmesan, to and we have french fries and lemon shakes too for the kids, and uh, the, the kids and all of us, I guess. Some pizza by everybody. and. Uh, some really good food, some pasta and some covetels and meatballs and so on. All the calzones, strombolis and everything in your heart's content, including at the end, you know, you can wash it down with a glass of wine or beer and maybe a cannoli or a sfogliatelle after that for dessert. Last year's festival saw about 27 to 28,000 people enter the gates. This year, Rossetti expects that number to increase. I expect it to be a good year from what I see of the weather forecast. It looks like we're going to have three days of good weather. Mm -hmm. So I expect 30,000 plus this year for all three days. Festival hours are Friday from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. and Saturday from 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. Sunday's events begin with a Roman Catholic outdoor mass and processional at 1230 and the fest continues until 11 p.m. Admission is $5. Kids under 12 are free. You can find out all the details of the event by visiting youngstownitalianfest.org. Come down and, and enjoy the show. That, that's all we ask. Come down and enjoy the show. Come see downtown Youngstown as it's supposed to be. You know, in, in the old days, they used to come down here and shop and everything. Downtown Youngstown, there's a big rebirth right now. So come down, see what you're missing. Don't miss out on the Greater Youngstown Italian Fest or downtown Youngstown. Hey, Mambo. Mambo Italiano. Now here's the rest of your weekend rundown. The Columbiana Block Party takes place this Friday from 5 to 8 p.m. on Main Street in downtown Columbiana. The party includes a pop-up market, VW show, music, food, and plenty of activities for the kids. For more information, visit the event Facebook page. Celebrate the dog days of summer with man's best friend this Saturday from 1 to 3 p.m. at White House Fruit Farm. There will be a pup parade, contests, photo opportunities, and more. Registration is required. Find out more at whitehousefruitfarm.com. The seventh annual Wings and Wheels takes place on Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Ernie Hall Aviation Museum in Warren. Over 150 airplanes and thousands of cars will be on display. All proceeds benefit the Ernie Hall Aviation Museum, Animal Welfare League of Trumbull County, and Northeast Ohio Adoption Services. Visit ErnieHallAviationMuseum.org for more details. The 61st annual Hubbard St. Patrick Church Parish Festival begins today and runs through August 4th. There will be live entertainment every night, plus food, games, rides, and much more. Festival hours are Thursday and Friday from 6 to 11 p.m., Saturday 5 p.m. to midnight, and Sunday from 3 to 11 p.m. Learn more at stpatsfestival.com. For this week's After Hours Report, I'm Maggie Young. The After Hours Report is brought to you by Live Nation.